Earthquake Sun on the game, comrade. How bad are they? How to fight them? How to activate them? Let's find out together. If you start a new game in realistic mode, earthquakes are now active. They happen every couple of years. They always happen in populated areas where there are houses. And if one earthquake strikes, the camera jumps to it. The sounds are amazing. And what happens is that they have a different magnitude, which means they have different radius of impact. And the effect is that buildings who are not in good shape can collapse. And also uh, buildings who are in good shape can start to burn, like you see here. Another thing which can happen is that buildings starts to burn, which you have never seen burn before. Me also. <laughs> For example, the staircase here burns away and um, yeah it would be a shame if it collapses i've seen water pumps burning the staircase and also the train platform on the plus side the infrastructure underground will not be touched uh, pipes and wires will stay intact but your uh, beloved water pump can also start to burn so how to activate it and how to fight it let's find out together in a running game Here we are in my little island playthrough. And the first things you need to do if you want to activate the earthquakes, I want to check if your earthquakes are active, you go into the game settings and check for global events, which are here. They are set to normal. And if you want to have earthquakes, you set them to serious. Okay. Now you can wait for an earthquake or you can go into cheat mode. Activate it and we go here to the settings and go to general debug cheat functions. And here you can start the earthquake. So we have earthquake plus plus. <laughs> Let's uh, see what happens. Um, at the bottom, you see here that uh, earthquake is scheduled with a strength of 7.2 at a very small radius, which is interesting. So let's wait for it. Whoa, <laughs> so Earthquake struck and a building instantly collapsed, like you see here. Uh, let me go on pause. So this building was not older than the buildings next to it. Let's see what the wear and tear is of these buildings. 28%. So <clears throat> this building should have no right to collapse. Really bad. Okay. Next thing what will happen is that the buildings will start to burn. Let's see how many. I think because it's such a hard earthquake on such a small size. Okay, we have one building, bur one burning building here. And what I want to do is first go to my fire station and max out the number of firefighters. Because I'm at, normally 20 firefighters are really okay for the job. But now I want to have every firefighter available. Okay, and then I go to the university and close the university, uh, school is out, go firefighting people. Mm. Other than a collapsing building, I think we are quite lucky here, so I have only one burning building. Do we see more? No, there isn't. Okay, so we have some casualties, but only one building starts. Oh, 
Herr a Collapse School. Wow. Es ist uh, really ein intense earthquake. Ja. <laughs> yeah. So I had no chance to keep out the fire. My firefighters are gone. But you see here two collapsed buildings. Which we have to live with it and reconstruct them. So these are the earthquakes. At first glance, I thought, oh my god, natural disasters are really a pain in the behind. But if they don't come so regularly, which I have experienced them every couple of years, then they can be fun. Because they bring another element of action into the game and you really need to think about securing your city, keeping your buildings intact and having good firefighters, which can deal with multiple fires at the same time. So I think it's great. With that, I say, enjoy your earthquakes or don't. <laughs> Have fun with the update and see you next time. Bye, comrade.